This question is going to require a little bit of elbow grease. Uh, the denominators are all different, so as we compare each of the answer choices to one half, it would be a good idea to zoom in so that it's no longer fractions and then zoom back out in the end because we are looking for the difference. So we're gonna see what that all looks like right after this. So our first comparison is one half and four sevenths. Uh, we should zoom in by a factor of 14 uh, because that would eliminate the denominators. Uh, so half times 14, that's seven. And uh, four sevenths times 14, that's eight. So we have a difference of one. Now zooming back out by that factor of 14, we can tell that the difference is one over 14. So let's kind of just write that down next to answer choice A. It's 1 14th away from half. Going on to answer choice B, we are comparing 1 half to 5 ninths. So in this case, we should zoom in by a factor of 18. 1 half of 18 is 9, and 5 ninths of 18 is 10. So again, a difference of 1. This time, though, our factor uh, when we zoomed in was 18. So zooming back out by a factor of 18, we have a difference of 1 18th. Now the question was asking which answer choice is closest to half, and we can already see that answer choice B is closer than answer choice A, because answer choice B is only 1 18th away from half, and remember answer choice A was uh, 1 14th away from half. So uh, since 1 18th is a smaller fraction than 1 14th, B is closer than A, we can go ahead and eliminate A at this point. And now let's go on to answer choice C. Here we have to compare 1 half to 6 over 11. So let's zoom in by a factor of 22. Half of 22 is 11, and 6 elevenths of 22 is 12. So 11 and 12, again, a difference of 1. But remember, this time we zoomed in by a factor of 22. So zooming back out by a factor of 22, we get a distance of 1 over 22, which again is a smaller distance than what we had in B. So let's go ahead and eliminate B. Uh, so for now, our, our best answer is C. We still have to look at two more answer choices. Moving on to D, we're comparing 1 half to 7 over 13. So let's zoom in by a factor of 26. Half of 26 is 13. 7 over 13 out of 26 is 14. So 13, 14, again a difference of 1. This time our zoom factor was 26, so uh, the distance between half and 7 over 13 is 1 over 26. This is an even smaller distance from everything we've seen so far. So eliminate C, we're liking D with a pretty small distance, right, of uh, 1 over 26. Moving on to the last answer choice, we're comparing half to 9 over 16. So let's zoom in by a factor of 16. Half of 16 is 8. 9 over 16 out of 16 is 9. So we have a, a gap there of 1 zooming back out by a factor of 16, 1 over 16. Uh, so D is the correct answer because D was only 1 over 26 away from half, and E is a much greater distance away from half, it's 1 over 16. Uh, so since 1 over 26 is much smaller than 1 over 16, correct answer here is D. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book, it's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time!